Hi, my name is Rick from Fire Suppression Solutions, and thank you for joining us for this video. I hope this video helps you understand that not every fire extinguisher will work on every kind of fire. At Fire Suppression Solutions, we are very proud of our background and our years of experience in the public safety field. We are also very proud that everything we do, we test and train to make sure it does the job that we say it does. Today we're going to talk about fire extinguishers and lithium ion batteries. Not every fire extinguisher will put out a lithium ion battery. Matter of fact, our products, our TRF Plus, which is in our stay safe bottle and our six liter and our larger containers is the only certified solution today. We are very proud to say that we are certified by BSI, British Standard Institute where we got our product certified for 10 different kinds of fires, including lithium ion. People ask all the time, why doesn't UL certify it? Here's the reason. UL does not have a test or a certification. Matter of fact, in the United States, we don't even have a classification for lithium ion battery fires. So we are very proud of our BSI certification. I'm going to show you a couple videos on how a dry cam extinguisher and water extinguisher does not work on a battery fire. The same with a foam or an encapsulated agent. And then I will show you some videos on how our product works. So let's take a look at the first video. If you notice in the top, there's a gentleman soldering on a component that has a lithium ion battery. And in the bottom video, we use water to try to extinguish our lithium ion battery and thermal runaway. You think the fire is out, but watch what happens in the bottom. The con product continues to overheat and the lithium ion battery explodes, causing it to be extremely dangerous and starting back on fire. In the upper video, we're using two 20 pound dry chem extinguishers to put out that small battery and nothing is happening. This shows that water and um, dry chem does not work. In the next videos that we're going to see, you'll see me damaging a battery in the lower. That smoke coming off is not smoke. That's hydrogen fluoride gas. That is extremely dangerous and will give us thermal burns in our lungs. At 110 degrees Celsius, those batteries will go from off gassing to ignition. And if we watch in the upper right hand corner, you'll see it producing its own oxygen. You'll then see us come and use a little bit of our stay safe product, spraying it on the battery, turning it into steam, and 72 hours later, as we monitor, the battery still doesn't reignite. In the upper video, we're now looking at two 148 cells, batteries, burning. There's 148 cylindrical cells in that battery in each of them. In the lower one, we just dropped one of our pan safes in. The product melts, the liquid gets into it, and it turns the fire into steam. Here's a video of us doing a stove fire, a quick, easy spray from a safe distance, and the fire's out. In the top video that we're watching now, we see the firefighter using our six liter product and putting out two battery fires, turning them into steam, and within a matter of seconds, we're going to see that the steam dissipates and three weeks later, the batteries never reignite. In the lower video, we actually started that battery on fire also. You'll see the, the cells go into thermal runaway. And then you'll see us use a bottle of our stay safe to extinguish the fire. There's the battery in thermal runaway. We'll now give it a quick spray with our bottle of stay safe. That sprays for about 10 to 14 seconds, turning into steam. But to make sure this battery's out, we've added one more step here at Fire Suppression Solution. We have our TRF product along with our ERK bucket. You can see us drop the uh, battery into our fluid. We'll put on a rubber glove and we will be able to reach in. That rubber glove is not insulated. We'll be able to reach in and pick that battery up that was at over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit and not have any burns. 
But when we pick it up, you're going to see us, we're giving off a little bit of steam. That steam is going to be there until we cool the complete battery down. We'll put it back into the container and we'll pick it back up in a few seconds and you'll see the steam is gone. As you can see, the same thing happening in the upper battery. Our steam is diminishing. That means our batteries are cooling down and our product has done a great job working. There's the battery again out of the TRF fluid with no steam and it is safe to dispose of. At Fire Suppression Solutions, we're very proud to be able to train and educate people to make sure they have the right fluid. If you have any further questions on lithium ion battery fires, how should I be prepared to protect my family and my property? What should I do for training? How should I train? Please reach out to us at Fire Suppression Solutions at 262-777-8700.